As an independent authority, the Australian Curriculum Assessment and Reporting Authority has an important role in improving the learning of all young Australians through world-class curriculum, assessment and reporting. All states and territories are now at a point where they are implementing the Australian curriculum. Developing this truly national curriculum was guided by the underlying principle that all students, regardless of where they live in Australia, would have access to the same rich curriculum, a curriculum which would ensure all students are well prepared for modern living. For the Australian curriculum languages, ACARA has developed 13 specific languages and also a framework for Aboriginal languages and Torres Strait Islander languages. Auslan and Classical Languages curricula are currently in development. The development of Auslan as part of the Australian curriculum languages recognises the place and significance of Auslan and of the culture of the deaf community in the Australian community. ACARA has engaged in an active process of development of the draft Auslan curriculum with peak organisations, community members, educators, Auslan teachers and leading academics. The draft curriculum takes account of current approaches to teaching Auslan in Australian schools and also of curricula developed for other sign languages around the world. The draft Auslan curriculum is the first national curriculum that supports the teaching and learning of Auslan for both first and second language learners. It is the first time that two learner pathways have been developed for teaching Auslan in schools and represents a unique development in the international context. There are two pathways for students. The first language learner pathway provides deaf children with access to education in and about their language, promoting functional bilingualism in Auslan and English. The second language learner pathway provides hearing children with the opportunity to learn to communicate using Auslan. The content of the draft Auslan curriculum is organised by two interrelated strands, communicating and understanding. Each strand is comprised of substrands, content descriptions and elaborations which aim to ensure that students develop the skills, knowledge and understanding required to communicate in Auslan. Students will understand the variation and diversity associated with identity, culture and the experience of Auslan users. Achievement standards describe what students are expected to achieve by the end of a given level. There are two sequences of learning for each pathway, foundation to year 10 sequence, for students learning Auslan continuously through their school years, and years 7 to 10, year 7 entry sequence for later learners of Auslan. The sequence followed will depend on whether a student has the opportunity to study Auslan in primary school, or commences Auslan in secondary school. The curriculum structure provides flexibility for schools to make program arrangements best suited to their local context and needs. The curriculum also provides guidance to schools for consulting with the local deaf community when developing and implementing Auslan programs in schools. The Australian Curriculum Languages is written for use by teachers with specialist language expertise. 
suitably skilled and qualified Auslan teachers, who are preferably native or near native users of Auslan, should have key roles in the development and implementation of Auslan programs. This is your chance to get involved and provide feedback to ACARA about the draft Auslan curriculum. The curriculum will be available online for public consultation until 13th of July 2016. At the same time, there will be opportunities for feedback from the deaf community, with community consultation forums planned in capital cities across Australia's states and territories. Feedback received during consultation will inform revisions before the final Auslan curriculum is submitted to education ministers for their approval. Following approval, it's anticipated the final Auslan curriculum will be published in late 2016.